these are some of the baby cobras. I went to feed them yesterday and put food in last night and I didn't realise it was in shed. So they might not have eaten. They don't usually eat while they're in shed these little ends. So I'll have a scan through if they've shed if they've eaten they've eaten. Yeah. Ew. That is disgusting. When they get like that, they get all bloated and they look disgusting. And they smell just as bad as they look as well, if not less. Can get in the bin. It can come out. This one's got a bit of shed stuck on him. Just get a bit of shed off first before I come back. It's only a little bit, it's just, you can't see it, my fingers are in the way, but it's a bit there, look. Yeah, it's coming off. And they've got little heads like these. You've got to be careful not to get your fingers too close. bits of skin it's not much this will probably come off on its own but I like to make sure I didn't realise there was in shed last night when I went to feed them, so probably wasted loads of pinkies and stuff. Don't really matter though. Mm. That one may have eaten. Yep, yeah, he's eaten. Good lad. Spitting Cobra, Indo Chinese, or black and white spitter, or whatever you want to call them. Naja Siamensis. Oops, here and there, yeah. At least one of them that I've eaten. Just put that onto the side so I know which is which. These ones have got, this one's got two snakes in it, this one. Same. One of them where the snakes want, the babies want eating. So I put two snakes in together. Yeah, I know it can cause them to eat each other and all that and bite and stuff, but it's something I've tried a few times. If the snakes don't eat, put them in with, it, with another one and see if the competition sort of helps them become feeders. So there's a mouse inside there that it didn't eat. There's a mouse inside there that I want to eat. So that's two of them. Just took the two snakes out, but you can see these are in shed. Yeah, I'm surprised you didn't eat. This is a fatty one, this one. Quite a chunky one. It's got a nice hood. Go in there then while I do this. I like the variety on these, the different colours and shit. They're all black and white, but... 
some of the different patternings and different shades of black and white and it looks kind of cool but, uh, they're kind of like morphs but they're not actually a morph it's the natural colours we found them in the wild in white ones, black ones, mixed coloured ones and shit shed yet. This one here is about to shed so I'm going to leave him in there. These do normally eat. They're not non-feeders, they are feeders, it's just when they're in shed. They tend to be twats. This one in here is a non-feeder. I have to assist feed this one, so I'm not checking if there's any fold in it. I'm just going to look at the snake itself to see if it's shit. This one's quite a silver looking one. I can't really tell on the camera, the colour doesn't show up very well, but. It's not black or anything, it's not grey, it's silver. Very nice looking little thing. It's back in your house, you. Yeah, if you want to try that little thing as well. Different size tubs, biggest still does the job. Is this one taken out? Yeah, I can smell it. Yeah, get out there, you dare little get. Yeah, another one. Disgusting. Get in there. It's a bit annoying when you. I took a lot of food in and I don't eat it. This is the last one and I can see this one in eating either. I'll give these a couple of days, let them 
make sure they finish shedding and feed them again. Hopefully we'll better look. That's it for the little babies anyway. I don't need for these ones. <laughs> 